from Bel Air High School's Creative Science and Arts Magnet Program. Bel Air Broadcast News is the flagship high school news broadcast of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Bel Air Broadcast News starts now. Hello, Bel Air Bingo family. My name is Coach Byron Wade. It is an honor and a privilege to introduce myself as the new head football coach at Bel Air High School. I am ready to get to work and I am very excited. Bel Air High parents and students and welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. My name is Christy Hitchens and I am your child welfare and attendance supervisor and hearings officer. I want to speak to you briefly about the importance of daily attendance. As we all know we are currently experiencing a different way of life as we know it. We are in uncharted territory but we are here to help make these times and transitions as easy as possible. State law, as well as the school board policy, requires that all students be in school daily according to the Louisiana Bulletin 741. Although we are embarking upon a school year that will begin virtually, students are still required to meet the daily attendance. In order to be marked present, students are required to be logged in on time to each class period according to their given schedule. Not only must they be logged in, they must remain in the session for the entire class period. If a student logs in after the, student, the teacher has taken the role, the student will be marked tardy for that class, just as if they were in school with face-to-face -face instruction. Attendance will be monitored daily by the school. That information will be forwarded to the supervisor of child welfare and attendance to address any concerns and non-compliance with the compulsory attendance law can result in students' referral to juvenile court and or the district attorney. Students, I encourage you to take care of all of your needs before or prior, prior to logging on to class. Once you are logged on, it is all about the instruction in the classroom. Eat your breakfast first, be dressed appropriately and presentable for school, and be respectful of the online classroom environment. Appropriate behavior is expected. If for any reason there is any disruption in the online session by any student, this will be addressed as if the student were in face-to-face -face instruction. The appropriate consequences will be rendered according to school board policy. Now parents, please, if you have any questions, school administrators and teachers are available to conduct telephone conferences, video conferences, or can be reached via email. Stay connected with the school to ensure that your child remains on task. If for any reason parents and students have difficulty with any community resources, such as being connected to the internet, food sources, shelter, or etc., that might hinder the student from effectively participating in their online instruction, please reach out to the school and talk to the personnel and the administration or you can reach out to me myself with the numbers listed on your screen. We are here to assist. We are here to help students succeed. Graduation is our destination.
Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer DeGrees. I am the new eye care specialist here at Bel Air High School and I am so excited to be part of your team and your family. Um, what does eye care do, you might ask? Eye care is a prevention and education uh, program that is actually part of East Bat Rouge Parish School System. So I will be coming to Bel Air one day a week to meet with each of you and to help you out in any way that parents, students, teachers, faculty, whoever may need our help, we're here to support. Today we want to give you some virtual learning tips before you get started. The first thing you need to know is how to read your schedule. You only need to create Google Classrooms for classes in fall semester one. So basically the top four classes you see on your schedule are the ones you will be taking in the fall. If you look at fall schedule semester two, you will see that the classes for the most part don't change. And that's because you will be completing those first semester classes during that second nine week period. And so all these courses will be complete in December. Finally, look at the bottom where you see spring schedule. Spring schedule are all new classes and you'll take those in the spring so you don't need to create the classrooms right now. How about logging in and using your password? So look at my name, I'm John Heyman. Assume that my student ID is 0182368 and last year my password was catsoso09. So the login will be my first and last initial and then the last six digits of my student ID. The password's gonna be just like it was last year, except the 09 turns to a one zero because it will match your grade level. So if I was a ninth grader last year, the last two digits this year will be one zero. Now you need to create your Google Classroom codes. In order to do that, you're gonna sign in with your login information, go to classroom.google.com, and then click on the plus symbol and add your class codes. How about Google Classroom routines? Well, each day that you go to your class, you need to click on the meet link the first thing because the meet link is where you will meet with your classmates and your teacher and you have to be on time. Speaking of being on time, here's the bell schedule. You will have four blocks with five minutes between each block. You also have a 45 minute lunch break. Classes are still 95 minutes and you must be in the Google Meet live session at the beginning of each class. After five minutes of class, your teacher will count you tardy. And then if you're absent, the absence will be part of your official record. Don't take restroom breaks during the live session. And remember, you still have five minute breaks between classes. Virtual rules. You must wear a school shirt. The good news is the deadline to buy the shirt is not until Monday, August 17th. So you have a week to purchase your shirts. You can also purchase them online by going to belairhide.com. Just click on the pay fees online link. Another rule is that when you're in the Google Meet sessions, you must mute your microphone when you're not speaking. Also, remember to use appropriate language and then follow all the rules that are in the handbook. Hey, if you need help this week, it's okay. Just go to www.tinyurl.com slash support. That will take you to a live Google Meet session where the counselors or me or Ms. Rimble or someone will help you with your problem. Or you can call 225-272-1860. Additionally, we have more support emails that you can use. For attendance, you can email Ms. Kathy Tolliver at ctolliver at ebrschools.org. Mr. Moore will deal with discipline. The administrator's emails are listed there. And then of course, the main support you will receive is from your counselor. So if you look at your last name, A through D will be with Ms. Ballard, S. Ballard at ebrschools.org. E through K will be with Ms. Murray, T. Murray 1 at ebrschools.org. And then Ms. Guillo will deal with students with the last names L through Z, V. Guillo at ebrschools.org. Thanks for watching.